All right, so you have clicked on this video because you're wanting to apply in the Kansas 2024 non-resident deer application, okay? It can seem a little bit confusing, especially if you've never done it before. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through that step by step. As of April 8th, 2024, this is what the application process looked like. I did this on a web browser. I used Google Chrome and I literally took screenshots of you know, each screen it took me to and the order. And I'm gonna walk you through it. It's gonna be pretty quick. Um, yeah, so I've hunted in Kansas twice, once for deer, uh, once for turkey. We, we did really well to deer and the turkey. It's a great state to hunt in. I think it's a great opportunity state and that you should apply. If you don't apply, you're not gonna get drawn, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, so you want to either create your account or log into your account on the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll see it says purchase license. So let's click on that. And then you're going to see there's going to be like some boxes up towards the top of your screen. You want to click on the one with the big buck in it that says limited draw applications. I've got a red arrow pointing right to it there for you. And, and you'll see some stuff down here. I've got blacked out. That's just my personal, like private information that I really don't want people seeing or, or getting a hold of. So we'll go to the next screen and that is just going to be a box. That's, that's the only thing you can click on is the non-resident whitetail either sex deer. Okay. And it gives you the application deadline there. And what you're going to do is just click next. From there, it's going to navigate you to a screen that gives you the options to either apply as an individual, create a group, like a group application, join a group that's already been created, or apply for points only. Now, if you apply for points only, um, the process is a little bit different. I did not do that, but just so you know, the cost is like $27.50 if you're doing for points only. Uh, we'll cover the cost of the application for the deer tag drawing uh, here in just a minute. After this screen, it's going to navigate you to um, the unit selection screen, okay? And the first thing you want to do is select equipment equipment type. I selected muzzleloader because that's what type of hunt I want to go on, okay? And then below that, you'll see it's got like unit one, two, three, four, five muzzleloader, and so so on. What you're going to do is is once you've selected your equipment type, you want to pick the main unit you want to hunt in, and then it's going to give you the option to choose an additional unit that you could also hunt in if you get drawn for the primary unit. And then it says priority order. Just select, like if you want to hunt, for example, unit one, you make that your priority number one. If you want to hunt unit number two is like your backup plan if you don't get drawn for unit number one, make that your priority two. And you can do it to up to four choices. Um, how much those weigh in after your first choice, I, I couldn't tell you. But anyway, just, just try to make your, you know, your best choices there for one and two is what I do. And then your next screen is going to take you to, what's going over here? It's going to give you the option to select an e-tag or a printed tag. I'll be honest with you, I think the e-tag or the mobile tag is a great option because it's on your phone. Um, if something was to happen, I guess you could call the, Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks and get that straightened out, but I've used the e-tag option for a deer and a turkey hunt, and my hunting buddy has as well. We've never had an issue with it, and it's worked really good, and we've had it with us the entire time. So I selected e-tag, go and click next, and now it's going to bring you up a screen that's basically just stating that you understand the non-resident draw as an individual or as part of a group, regardless of draw results, that your non-resident hunting license is non-refundable. A hunting license is not required for a points-only application. So that's what this screen states, and it gives you your, your options that we selected. And then down at the very bottom, you'll see it says if successful fees, or if, yeah, if successful fees, excuse me, tongue twister what you'll be paying. So let's go over to the next screen. So after that, if you are in the deer draw, you do have to buy a non-resident hunting license. That is not the case for buying points. 
but what we're doing is applying for the draw. Okay, I'm gonna select the non-resident hunting license because it is cheaper than the non-resident combo hunt fish. I'm not going to Kansas to fish, I'm going there to hunt. So I'm gonna select the non-resident hunting license. Okay, so now it's gonna bring you up to a, just a pretty generic checkout screen. You can see right there for my non-resident hunting license for one year is $125, okay? And then you're gonna see that the non-resident deer permit application is 25 bucks. You got a transaction fee of $7.58, an agent fee of $2, which brings you up to a total of $159.58. You're gonna select check out now. It's gonna bring you up to another just generic screen. You're gonna click that you do understand that you're applying for the draw, that your hunting license is non-refundable. So after that, it's gonna bring you to the final checkout screen. Uh, <clears throat> this is after you've checked out or, or however you wanna look at that. And it gives me my hunt group number. If you're applying as a group, it'll show that. If you're as an individual, I guess this would just be like um, the final screen is gonna show you. And it gives you the price breakdown, your, your hunting license information and whatnot there. So anyway, um, I do have a little bit of hard feelings that we have to purchase this non-resident hunting license. Um, now I do think that that money goes to good use and rightfully so, but at the same time, it kind of stinks to have to burn $125 extra. So I just try to budget for that every year. I put that money back and I know that's going to be going to this. So, you know, if you, if you get drawn once and you, enjoy the hunt, maybe the next year you could just do a preference point and try to juggle it. Uh, I'm sure people got different strategies. But anyway, it is a money racket, however you want to look at it, but if you don't put in for the draw, you're definitely not gonna get drawn. So, with all that being said, Kansas is a great place to hunt. There's great people there, great terrain. It, uh, overall, it's, it's a really good experience. Um, the hunting can be challenging, but I think you're going to see see game, have a great time, and you're really going to enjoy it and be glad that you went there. So I hope this video helped. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Give me a like if you'd like to. And if we haven't got 1,000 subscribers by the time this video, by the time you see this video, I'm going to give away something cool to somebody. So anyway, yeah, enjoy it. Take care, everybody.